Japan can resemble the United Nations at times, this film festival's as international as they get. And one continent in particular is flying the flag this year, lots of them in fact, Africa. Of course Cannes is associated with all of this, the glitz, the glamour, the good life, but it is real life that forms part of this festival's DNA. Those stories that are pegged to current events that are quite harsh, quite stark, in some cases quite difficult to watch. And there is a real dose of that kind of cinema from African filmmakers this year, which has got critics rather excited. Like Timbuktu, an unforgiving tale of forbidden love and violence in Mali. There are lashings, stonings and killings. A painful story, but one its director and actors felt compelled to bring to Cam. It's not a big movie with big money, with a big star, you know? This is why also it's very interesting and maybe the, the people affect about what's happened for this movie. Other movies, like Run, rely on metaphors. The lead character's chaotic life compared to the Côte d'Ivoire's history. Africa is a continent rich in untold stories, and the feeling is that Cannes is all the better for hearing them. Cannes is like the World Cup of cinema, so you want the underdog team to be there, as much as it's important to have African teams at that football World Cup. And really, African cinema can be the most exciting, the freshest, the, the kind of most unusual of the rhythms of cinema that we get. Africa isn't just selling its stories, it's leasing locations too. Cannes is the place to do deals. Like filming a good old-fashioned US Western in South Africa instead. The Salvation did just that, lowering the budget and doing its bit to raise the continent's cinematic appeal. So there's a lot of production going to South Africa because South Africa have really good incentives, good crews and are really going out to attract as much business as possible. And top prizes will certainly help. Timbuktu is in competition for the big one, the Palm Door. Some are already tipping this as a winner. There is no happy ending for this film, but there may at least be smiles for its makers come the big night. Phil Lavelle, Al Jazeera at the Cannes Film Festival.